Good afternoon, uh, viewers. Uh, my name is Limba Mupatami. Welcome to the Spot Rep Show. With that, let's have a look at today's spot pages. Quite exciting sports uh, events having, of course, taken place rather over the weekend. Now, just getting into uh, you know just the topics, the highlights of what we will be talking about in today's show. Namibia beat Nigeria. That, of course, is the women's cricket. Uh, Micah Dijkman ends six. Jeremy Nakathila is set for Saturday, and uh, Nati Kakololo is also set for Saturday. That, of course, is boxing, and uh, the Netbank Desert Dash entries have opened today. And uh, vacancies have also opened at the Namibia Football Association. Peter Shalulile and Dion Hotto have won big in South Africa. Rugby, local rugby has been dealt a huge blow, and uh, of course, star athletes are running today in the Czech Republic. Now with that, let's take a short break, and then when we get back, we're going to get into detail with, uh, with those headlines. The Namibian senior women cricket team beat Nigeria with eight wickets in the Kwebuka T20 tournament in Rwanda yesterday. The teams, are, the, the teams competing in the tournament are host Rwanda, of course Namibia, Botswana, Nigeria and Kenya. Namibia is set to play host Rwanda later today. Now, in rowing news, Namibia's Olympic rower Maike Dekman secured her first ever A final spot um, yesterday, that is, after coming second in the semi final of the 2021 World Rowing Cup in Italy. Now, she finished sixth in the final this morning. Uh, Ukraine's Diana Demchenko took the first place. In second place was Netherlands' Anna Sauer, followed in third by Great Britain's Lola. Anderson and uh, Germany's Pia Creighton and Switzerland's Luvisa Kleisen took the fourth and fifth place respect, uh, respectively. So uh, if you want to catch more on that, on that news, please do get tomorrow's Namibian Sun. And uh, of course, there's a detailed story in tomorrow's paper. Now, to, in, in boxing news, uh, Namibian super featherweight boxer Jeremiah Nakathila is set to fight America's uh, Shakur Stevenson on Saturday in Las Vegas for the WO interim world title fight. Now, the Namibian jetted out on Friday and is getting ready to step into the ring. Being the underdog, Nakathila has said that he will whip the, America, the American and, of course, bring the belt home. No one will protect Stevenson when we step into, into the ring, the Namibian has said. Now, his opponent is an undefeated former featherweight world champion and uh, has, however, not lost, of course, undefeated. He has not lost any fights so far. So it's going to be quite a task for Nakathila. And now, let's just have a look at some of the clips of Nakathila in the gym before he jetted out for America. <laughs>
Well, of course, uh, Nakathila looking fresh and sharp there in the gym. Now, while we're on the topic of boxing, uh, Namibia's Nathaniel Nati Kakuloka Kakulolo from Salute Boxing Academy is also set to fight on Saturday against Ukraine's Oleg Malinovsky for the, vac the, for the vacant in intercontinental featherweight title. Now, the fight will take place in Ukraine at the Ako International Exhibitions Hall. Kakoloko Kakololo is the current African Boxing Union featherweight champion with 13 fights in total. He has uh, 11 wins, one draw, and one loss from those fights. Meanwhile, his opponent is unbeaten in 27 fights. Here's what, uh, what Nati rather had to say about his upcoming fight. Have a look at this. My name is Nati Kakololo, the ABO African champion. Yeah, I got this uh, chance to go and uh, fight for the WPO in the Continental uh, Fight Cup in New Claim. And um, I'm, I'm leaving on Wednesday 9th uh, of June to, to, to New Claim. So the fight will take place in New Claim, uh, Cave, Capital City, on the 12th of, uh, of June. So, uh, uh, like I said before, champions don't get ready, champions stay ready. I've been ready for this fight, I prepared so well. And uh, I, I watch my opponent, he's a good fighter, he's a softball. And uh, I've been preparing uh, with softball guys, I've been sparring with softball guys, the likes of my Matthew Jonas, uh, Jeffy Magagane from South Africa, uh, Bernard Bernard, uh, Barros them. So with uh, them in, in uh, quite a blessing with my uh, coaching staff, they prepare me so well and I'm on my top feet. I've never been fit like this before. And um, uh, come Saturday night on the 12th of, of, of June, I'm going to be the new uh, WPO in the Pantinella Featherweight Champion. So I watch my opponent uh, fighting, he's a good fighter and uh, he's uh, undefeated 27 and 0. But this time around, he's going to swim in deep water. I'm going to take him in deep water and I'll be the uh, WPO in the Pantinella Champion. And uh, to, to Namibian nation, they might just uh, wait for the Saturday night, 12th of June, I'll be the champion. Yes. Well, of course, uh, very, very, you know, brave words coming there from Kakololo and uh, also him just they were donning a very, very cool hairstyle as well. Now, of course, good luck to both boxers. That, of course, is Nakathila as well as Kakololo for their fight on Saturday. And uh, cycling news, uh, registration for the 2021 edition of, the, of Namibia's most iconic cycling event, the Nedbank Desert Dash, open today at 10 o'clock. NetBank's uh, Head of Marketing and Communications, Hannah de Klerk, said that the year 2020 has been quite a watershed in terms of hosting a cycling event that attracts over a thousand participants in Namibia. Well, of course, um, the entries for the solo entry category uh, open at 10 o'clock, as I've said, with the two-person team entries. Uh, following a, exactly a week later. The most popular entries, which are the, uh, the four-person teams, will open at 10 o'clock on Monday. That, of course, is the 21st of June. So if you're out there, you're fit, you think you're fit, please do enter for the NetBank Desert Dash. And uh, moving on, the NFA vacancies, six vacancies have opened at the Namibia Football Association. On Friday, the NFA sent out an advert which reads that they are looking to fill six coaching positions on a three-year fixed term as well as a two-year part-time contract. The positions to be filled on a three-year term uh, fixed term is that of the senior men and women's national teams and the two-year part-time contract applies to the under 20 men and uh, women's national team as well as the under 70 men and women national teams as well. Now Bobby Samaria who was in charge of the Brave Warriors hasn't said a word in regard to whether he will reapply for the post. Um, on the other hand, uh, Brave Gladiators uh, coach Mami Kasauna has shown keen interest in reapplying for the job. Now, the under-20 coach James Bretz is, however, not sure whether he will reapply as well. Now, when it comes to the Brave Warriors, uh, 
the position is rumored to also have uh, garnered interest from Italian Roberto Landi, a former goalkeeper and coach of Liberia as well. So it would be quite interesting to see the names who will obviously be coming through from that list as well. Now with that, let's take a break and then when we get back, more sports news for you. Welcome back from that break. Now, Peter Shalulile and Dion Hotto were the stars of the show last night at the PSL Awards. Now, Mamelodi Sundowns Shalulile scooped the Players' Player Award of the Season as well as the Footballer of the Season Award. Whereas Orlando Pirates' uh, Dion Hotto won the MTN 8 Last Man Standing Award. Shalulile walks away with a total of $450,000, whereas Hoto scooped $80,000. Now, check out tomorrow's uh, uh, sports pages for a more detailed story on uh, uh, Peter Shalulile and Dion Hoto's exploits in South Africa. Now, Namibia's rugby union president, Corey Mensa, said that they have requested for the rugby world the rugby gold cup pool a competition to be postponed and have also decided to pull the team out of uh, the out of kenya's bath trophy competition as well also the rugby union was planning a rugby competition for the women as well that of course has also been cancelled now corey said this after they had two meetings with the minister of sport that is agnes shongarero last week Mensa said the purpose of the meetings were to inform her about the consequences for rugby regarding the June conduct sports prohibition and possible solutions for the crisis the sport code faces. The, outcom the outcome of the meetings, according to Mensa, is that the status quo will remain as such and no exception will be made towards a specific sport code. Um, well, all, all of these things are actually happening because of the increase in the numbers of uh, the deaths experienced due to COVID-19. Now, the ministry has uh, rather halted conduct sports in order to just try and curb the, the virus, the, the infection rate as well. And I think uh, at this moment, a lot of federations are quite upset with this decision, but I think at the end of the day, it is in the best interest of the players and uh, the welfare of the nation at large. Now, in conclusion, Namibian uh, sensational star athletes, sprint stars, that is. Beatrice Masilengi, together with her friend Christine Boma, will run today in Prague, Czech Republic, at the Joseph Otlozel Memorial event. The two stars will run in the 200 meters. The race has the likes of Gambia's Gina Bass, as well as Great Britain's Ashley Nielsen, as well. The race starts today at 7 o'clock. And uh, I will bring you those results as soon as I get them. But please do stay tuned uh, to, I mean, just keep an eye out on our social media pages as to the results that will be coming through from Czech Republic. But before we close off, here's a message from the two stars, all the way from Czech Republic, that is. and happy christine is uh, just saying all her love and uh, thanks for all the support from namibia and uh, yes beatrice hello to everyone hope you're all good um for something very good today it's a race day and um i just want to keep the stress 
calm and everything just go execute and just get rid of it and yeah thank you all for your support and everything so yeah love you all <laughs> thank you very much and thank you for the support bye <laughs> Very shy Christine Mboma on that side. But however, good luck to the athletes. And uh, I really hope that they do Namibia proud as they prepare for the Tokyo Olympic Games as well. Very, very young athletes. I mean, a lot to learn from them, for, for them rather, as they impact on these competitions. Now, that's all from me today from the Sport Rep Show. Please do catch me again on Thursday as I bring you a brand new show. Just highlights of, on, on what you can expect for the weekend. That is all. Goodbye.